Land and I'm back again with my daughter Amanda, a senior in high school who will be attending university in the fall in physics. And today's book is one that's really exciting for teens and young adults and it has taken Japan by storm and has just finally been translated into English for our pleasure here in America and across the world. And this book is called Math Girls by Hiroshi Yuki and this book is combines part math textbook and part teen romance and I, who could imagine that's even possible but this has gone over so well in Japan that they create songs and videos and clubs all about this book because it is so uh, engaging and enthralling so um, now this is a first for me to actually recommend a book that I haven't read completely through uh, but believe me, even though I've started it, I want to finish it. It's, it's very fun and exciting. Yes. <laughs> so why don't you uh, tell everybody a little bit about this? Since you're the audience well, that this book is aiming for. Yeah. So I, I'm actually, I'm, I'm not finished with the book yet. I recently started it. And from the first chapter, I was involved in the story. It's about, like, the narrator. He's, he's a boy in uh, high school. And he meets these two girls, Tetra and Miruka, and it's like it's about how uh, he relates to them with math. And like he, he like with Tetra, he's tutoring tutoring her in math, and then Miruka, uh, they like quiz each other in math because they've like they both have the strong love of math, and it's. This book is just so interesting. I find, like, as I'm reading it, even though I'm still like on the basic math stuff, I am, I'm learning more about the history behind math. I'm like actually understanding it instead of memorizing it, and that's what the story is about. And well, that's part of what the story is about. It's also this a love triangle between the narrator and Tetra and Miruka, and it's really interesting. So yeah, and this book truly is a textbook, a math textbook mixed with that romance story. And the math is not watered down, it's not washed over. There are formulas in here. We start with some basic algebra and we move all the way through Fibonacci numbers, through calculus, through differential equations. So this is not for the faint of heart with the math, but I did notice when I was reading it um, that you could skip over the math part and still really enjoy the, the love story, the romance that's going on. And that is what makes this book so fascinating and so intriguing and, um, and I can't wait to finish it. But uh, we were both really excited. We wanted to let people know that you might want to get this for your math inclined or romance inclined teen. <laughs> um, and not just girls, right? Yeah, not just girls. As I'm reading this, I think of one of my friends who's a guy who, he really likes math and I just, I'm reminded of him. In, in this book and I think that he would really like it so do you think uh, we'll have uh, people making videos and starting clubs about this book in America I hope so <laughs> <laughs> I, I, th I think it's a possibility so uh, we're both highly recommending the book math girls textbook and romance novel all in one math yes. textbook yes. all right thanks